Well, we're going to cross then to uh, Jerusalem. Speak to our correspondent, Iris Mackler, who joins us from there. So, Iris, we've got cases up. We've got schools back as well. It does sound like the potential there for rather a bad mix. I think they're hoping it won't be a bad mix. It certainly has been a controversial mix. Uh, it wasn't clear to, even till last week that it was definitely going ahead. There's been a lot of pressure to delay it for another month till the 1st of October. But the people who won are those who say we have to try to get back to some kind of normal life. They are putting in place another um, system, a third vaccination, very uh, also highly controversial. And they're hoping that all together with the systems that they have in place for extra testing, that the schools, it's only going to be a week of schools due to, due to Jewish holidays this month. They're hoping that the schools will start to bed down and they'll see if there are problems and how to solve those. Yeah, you mentioned those uh, attempts to, to boost the vaccination rates as well there. That's right. No one else in the world has conducted third vaccinations at this rate. It's not even yet FDA approved. A month ago, it was over 60-year-olds. Now it's open to everyone over 12 who has been vaccinated more than five months ago. And the reason is the Delta variant. Two things happened in Israel uh, together in tandem. One is the Delta variant came and the Pfizer vaccine started to wane. So Israel went basically from herd immunity to massive infection spread. Uh, and they are trying this. I've, I've interviewed a doctor who said the 66 and two-thirds percent the two-thirds of Israelis who were vaccinated previously was enough to give Israel herd immunity against the Alpha variant. It isn't enough for the Delta variant. You need 85% vaccinated, so they have to get the million who aren't vaccinated, have to get those first shots in their arms, uh, and they are trying to boost the antibodies of those who have been vaccinated, and they are finding that is successful. So serious illness is going down, and there are reports on this throughout the world to see if it should be adopted everywhere else too. Iris, thanks so much. Iris Mackler there, our correspondent, joining us from Jerusalem.